Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. We're trying to beat the game. Oh, beating is too much of a word. We're trying to survive in an environment with 90 plus hostile mods on Legendary Iron Man. Double enemy size, yellow alert, a better advent, you name it. Everything uh, is stacked against us and uh, we have not improved XCOM forces whatsoever. Matter of fact, we have taken away repeaters uh, by nerfing them and uh, nerfing a couple of other items as well. Anyways, uh, today it is month number three. Operation Driving Omen is the name of the game. I wanted to go for a specialist and hopefully countering this hidden event. And we're very likely going to run into the Hunter this time. It says easy, but uh, it is potentially not easy. Recover an item from a resistance haven also means uh, we better bring one of our specialists. Unfortunately, as you can see, this whole campaign is uh, being quite heavy on our soldiers. So we will need to use uh, caution here. And Ataxia, I am willing to accept an injury here. Very low morale, but that it is what it is. Um, Barbie and Cannon, on the other hand. <laughs> That's funny. It's Cannon and Barbie. Okay, well, pun aside, Barbie and uh, Euler are going to be the double explosive team. I like to run uh, two Grenadiers from time to time in the early game just to get um, all of the cover away. Also to deal with the absurd amount of uh, armor that enemies, modded enemies in particular, tend to have. And as you can see, we do have upgraded weapons. Uh, the shotguns are upgraded and our normal rifles are upgraded. So with that, we're jumping right into the mission and are hopefully going to be successful. So far, we had only mild casualties, but that also depended a lot on kind of uh, the missions. I feel that some of the missions were actually quite favorable for us and the positioning was incredibly good. Um, not because I've positioned incredibly well, but uh, because the map was very favorably designed. Um, but that is only a matter of time. Very soon we're going to see less well-designed maps uh, that will be in our disfavor. Okay, so here we go. We started on low ground. That in itself isn't great. Ah, that's a, that is a nasty map. I, this tile set here in particular offers quite a bit of difficulty. Um, that's one of the more difficult tile sets for sure. Implacable moves up. Perch Python. Okay. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Okay, so Ataxia moves up as well. No more open spots, which is unfortunate. Could shift over here and just try to go and fling for next turn. I think we're going to do that. Okay, so here is the deal, right? A protocoling in. And we got the weapons, the right weapons to deal quite a bit of damage. 
This will not kill them right away, but we got this here. Forty percent chance to uh, to crit them, and quite a bit of damage. So let's go for it. Nice, twelve points of the fantastic. That was a great start. Sniper's moving up. I was hoping for something along those lines. Okay, of course. Of course. Moving up. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be a negative Nancy, but why is that always happening? Moving up. All right, and finally, we got the kill. I hope it's worth it. Euler moves up and takes an overwatch. There is the Chosen. We expected his arrival. Regeneration. Shoots to kill. Uh, we still don't have a skirmisher with us, and the bewilderment can be to our advantage if we just hit often enough. 25 hit points is quite a chunky enemy. All right, so Barbie moves up. I think we're just picking up the loot for now. Another Elarium core. Well, that's not bad. I mean, we can get quite a few weapons done with that. Euler moves up. Good, moving up here and here, and Rookie moves up all the way. Which, funnily enough, triggers. Okay. So that's a Collector Vanguard, uh, which is uh, apparently the upgraded version of what we've seen so far. Moving into full cover. Nice little flanking angle here. How many is that now? 12 points of damage. We definitely got an explosion that works in our favor because enemies will be drawn to it. No enemy next to us, elsewise the hunter would be able to see us. These final Six rounds, okay. Right. Moving up. Euler takes a nice little point position there. Uh, I'm going. I'll take a look. Let's take a look what our hacking rewards would be. 
nearby group is alerted that's fine uh, yeah we're not doing that right away but it is an option extra supplies uh, the game is trying to get greed trap me offer me something that is too good to pass by All right, Taurus, no high ground for us. I was hoping we could fight in and around that high ground. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Well, I think there is a good chance that we can actually hide from you, yes. We can move just out of line of sight from the Chosen. Absolutely. And instead... The problem is we don't have any really good alternative cover. Yeah, that's the same hack, just different uh, chances. The timer is uh, stopped at the moment, so we're okay. The taxi overwatches, we could go in, but that would be too far. Might as well overwatch for now. Definitely out of line of sight for Implacable. And that's a solid overwatch trap for him to hopefully come in. But no, instead he summons a purge sector, which he had never done before. It's nothing personal. Okay, okay, well. I've lost count at this point. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal. Mentally and physically. Good, time to remove his cover. I think it's fair to say that uh, it's a bit surprising how he can shoot completely out of... Um, completely into the dark. His vision range was not impeded at all. 90... That oh, was... Well, we can't move away without without starting to burn, which sucks. All right, let's offer ourselves as a target here. We're burning, but with hunkering down, that is solved, and we are effectively better off uh, than, uh, than, even better than as if we would be in uh, full cover. I could use a new perspective. Okay, I think he messed that up a little bit. Moving from full cover into half cover, but 
better setup. Alright, that removed his cover completely. This is not flankable. Very nice. We're close to be bewilderment. Could move up. Actually try to hit him. What's our damage? Six to eight. Six to eight with 70% crit chance. But pretty secure kill all right let's start uh, with trying to do that full cover here so that was the right call This here would be full cover, but he could, can he pull over? Not sure if he could flank us here, maybe. I think the right call is just to take half cover. Nice, nice, very nice damage. Oh wow, the bleeding is real. Off by a few inches. Assuming there's anything left of this world when we're done. Maybe I'll just Oh wow, the bleeding is real. It's the one thing your kind excel at. Nice little uh, shot and a fantastic kill. Like the shotguns, the upgraded are are great. Unfortunately, Taurus uh, will not benefit from that anymore. You surprised me once again, Commander. Maybe I need to reconsider my tactics. We've proven the chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on pulling them down for good. I hope it's worth it. The Barbie reloads and Cannon can overwatch. We're still okay on our timer. So instead reloading. Menace one five, we're not picking up further contacts near your position. Site is secure. Move on the target before the charge. Another Alarium core. Holy, we're going to be Alarium core rich. Let's try to get that extra loot. Infiltrating their system. Nice one. All right. Some extra supplies. And cannon moves in. I was actually hoping for a few more enemies. Uh, this maybe the chosen in the buffed up version is just too much. No idea, but. Menace one five. We're not picking up further contacts near your position. 
All right, wait, 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 wait. Reduce tech by 50%. We're using our hacker for that. Had we had we used uh, that a bit earlier uh, on a longer attack, that would be great. But unfortunately, it didn't even uh, work. So never mind. That would have been a, a nice little research boost. Good. Well. Not really good for Taurus. We lost yet another soldier, but uh, I already mentioned it's going to be quite a bloody campaign. And uh, the gloves are off as uh, he is now trying to shoot to kill, which also explains why he continuously con uh, used his, uh, his weapon. Which for the hunter isn't too bad. I mean, he has like, what, 90% chance to hit? Um, which means we're looking at a 60% chance to hit into half cover, 50-50 and full cover. So, yeah, I can understand why the AI would be doing that. Well, Rip Taurus, you did an admirable job. Confirming yet another bond uh, here. And we got two Alarium cores. We got a stock, which is great. A laser sight and an auto loader. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Why did we get so many items? That is great. That is fantastic. 35 uh, supplies on top of it. Okay. Dark Cloak, uh, so it was a side goal that we just countered. Uh, remember when I said at the beginning of uh, the campaign that there is not only the Avatar project, but we basically do have uh, hardcore additional projects, so that was the first one that we countered. Chance to take a shot immediately after going on Overwatch. Uh, not good. Not good. Russ, welcome to the team. I love it. Have, uh, having yet another specialist. Now that we ruined the mantle of our last one to get you. Seems like a reasonable choice. We've been picking up some weird transmissions lately. Promoting and uh, off you go with medical protocol. Welcome to the team, Russ. So... In terms of depth of roster, we're still requiring a few more grenadiers. Got three rangers, that's okay. Uh, we got four specialists, that's plenty. That's plenty. I think sharpshooters are fine for now. I uh, would be sparingly using uh, them. Uh, as you need to uh, level them up to a relatively high level. No point in switching them around over and over. All right, we got some more supplies. And how about we're finishing the supply drop and then continuing contact? Sounds like a good idea, Saiken. That is proving ground, finally which will be one of our new uh, buildings and plenty of additional research available as well. Commander, we have an astonishing breakthrough. We must begin re uh, researching immediately. Weapon upgrades are interchangeable. That is indeed a good one and I will get it. It is a fantastic one because it saves us uh, so much hassle. And Slicinator just has become a 
Grenadier. Oh, that's the third Grenadier. We still have a couple of rookies. Sam Walker here uh, becomes a Grenadier. That would be the fourth one, and we should be fine. Uh, then maybe one more sharpshooter afterwards, and then it's really whatever we need. So here we go, Slicinator, welcome. Uh, good job having another Grenadier for cover removal. That's always welcome. Okay, and in terms of training center, we're almost there as well. That'll give us some more optionalities with our soldiers. Let's continue making contact. And the first ruler has been detected in that advent facility. Not a surprise either. Now, with the training center, finally, we can upgrade bonds. Uh, that wasn't really needed at this point, but we can give it a go and see uh, how many APs everybody has. So we're looking at uh, six APs here, but 22 Within the team, Sonar has aim, that's not really helpful, and we don't need much uh, there. In terms of Dylan, that looks better. So, I mean, Dead Eye itself is an okay ability uh, just to deal a lot of damage, but I'm eyeing at Holo Targeting, which is great. Chain Shot is a bit too pricey at this point, but Holo Targeting is fantastic because it will mean everybody else has an easier time hitting enemies. I like that. This here is uh, absolute fantastic ability. Death from above um, for 10 points. I think we're going to do that. Euler became more and more our main Grenadier, I suppose. So that's a good investment. Not having a lot of options here. Roby with Guardian. That's a, that's not bad, uh, but I want to save the, the points. Shredder is fantastic, but let's uh, save uh, some more points for now. Another death from above for Russ. That's a good one. Uh, I would argue I'm almost always picking that because it... Uh, is such a good option for action economy. Uh, and he says that and uh, continues to move on. Uh, that is because we only have 14 more points and Hogbite is still not back. So I want to make sure that we can give him some love. All right, so uh, that is unfortunate, very unfortunate. I didn't want to fight against her, not yet, but it happens, it happens. So at least we're almost at 300 um, income, that's great. I think we're going for another soldier. That's fine as well. And we could use some more alloys also. So if we wouldn't go for the soldier, I would go for Intel. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. Well, look at that. Hogbite got a promotion. Everyone will be ready to get back out there. We may have chosen a different means of resistance. My people well, hello there. So... 10% increase, plus one resistance contact, and let's take a good look what we could do. So, mobility and increase the faction influence. That's not bad, but not uh, needed at the moment. A promotion could, uh, could be really, really good. A promotion could be really, really good. 
just to push someone further. Grell would uh, become a captain. Breakthrough research and aim, that's good. The infirmary construction, that's really not that gr uh, great, but the plus four aim is good. I like that. Um, another plus four aim and increase combat intelligence. Well, that one is good as well. I mean, health is fantastic. But aim is great as well. Plus four aim is the maximum that you could get. So having these nine day options here is good. Ten days here. Promotion isn't bad either. Let me see how many more days until the end of the month. Nine. Mm. Okay. Which means we're either just done or and can squeeze one more in or we're not. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should get that promotion and um, get a big fat skirmisher. I think we're going to do that. Oh, it's a two for one. All right, let's go. Let's go. So, in terms of promotions, Hogbite first of all gets the 15 dodge, which brings us uh, brings him to 15 dodge plus whatever his abilities will offer. We're definitely going to skill into parry. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, sustain. That is fun. That is a fun ability. Okay, and he has three more, which we don't know yet. Uh, so let's go with Sustain. Awesome uh, pick for the Templar. I like it uh, because it means he can do what he's supposed to do and actually be the tank. Very good. Plus, he also got a promotion, so things are going in the right direction for us. Hmm. Well, just as he was saying that, uh, we are now permanently getting hunted by a UFO, and it's just a matter of time until said UFO will shoot us down. Good. I would push that power relay through. Maybe a few days and then switch over to the alien machinery. Um, because then the power relay and that clearing would happen at the same time. I never got around to asking you this. At one time I was employed as a biochemist in the pharmaceutical industry. Mainly researching vaccine production techniques. And we got another f retaliation. This time a classical Haven Assault, uh, which we will need to take care of. And with uh, some of our best forces on covert ax uh, ops missions, we're actually just rocking a sharpshooter. Can't just go with dual sharpshooters, that's not going to work out. So sharpshooter plus Russ, uh, that's a good one. A Grenadier, um, a Ranger. And uh, we got a Reaper. So yeah, that sounds like an awesome team to me. One that could uh, be successful. We're going to see about that. 
in terms of engineering anything else i should build weapon upgrade no no three more days until into inter exchangeable upgrades so we're going to um, we're going to do that once uh, we're going to need that much later in in the game and depending on whether or not we get some intel maybe we could hopefully uh, get some more alloys and with the alloys then start the armor research if that's not a thing then we still have weapon research to do so we're actually fine for now um, and so far there's still a chance to survive some of the shots so it's uh, it's deadly but not like ultra deadly that everybody's like a one shot um, okay good that brings us to the end of today's episode if you like what you've seen take a good aim just like uh, the hunter would do and try to snipe that like button and then let me know if you hit in a comment down below thank you and see you soon bye bye